Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave engineering. In today's class, we are going to learn about gyrator. Okay. So gyrator is also a microwave ferrite device. So in short, or uh, uh, we can also call it as gyrator is a non-reciprocal ferrite device. So it will be having several characteristics like linearity, lossless, as well as it is specially designed in such a way that it is a two port device okay so these are the mainly uh, stressed uh, uh, characteristics of a gyrator so this particular gyrator is somewhat similar to an ideal transformer okay so if you see over here so this particular gyrator is an uh, ferrite device which will be having two ports the input port is considered as port 1 as well as the in output port is considered as port 2 okay so what happens whenever an input signal or an electromagnetic wave or a microwave is given as an input through the gyrator? What is the expected output and how that particular output behaves? We are going to see. And if at all, we suppose we give the signal through port 2 as an input and we take the or extract the output from port 1 in a reverse direction, what happens? How the output behaves? We are going to see. Okay. See, let's see the working. So let me take a microwave signal. So this particular signal is given as an input through port 1. Okay. So whenever a microwave or electromagnetic wave is given as an input through a gyrator using port 1, okay, the output will be achieved at port 2. Okay. Now the output whichever is achieved at port 2 will have a phase shift of 180 degrees. That's why it is indicated as pi radians. Whatever the signal is coming as an output through the gyrator, it, that particular output signal will be having uh, 180 degrees or pi shape, uh, phase shift, okay? Or 180 degrees uh, shift of phase, okay? So this is with respect to forward direction. So through port one, the input is given, and through port 2, the output is taken. Okay. Now let us assume same signal is given as an input through port through port 2. Okay. So this is like uh, a reverse direction, let us say. Okay. Suppose uh, whenever a signal is given as an input through port 2 as an input signal. Okay. Now this uh, gyrator also produces output through port 1. But what will be the condition is as it is in reverse direction, okay, it will be experiencing or the signal will be experiencing zero degrees of phase shift, okay. So, in reverse direction, whatever the signal is coming as an output, that will be having zero degree phase shift, okay. But in the case of forward direction, whenever a signal is given as an input through port 1 and taken as an output from port 2, it will be experiencing a phase shift of 180 degrees. Therefore, this particular gyrator is also known as differential phase shift device. Okay. So, this is a basic working and basic concept of a gyrator. Thank you. Mm -hmm.